Hi everyone, I'm Mackenzie. I'm with the Beaverton City Library at Murray Shoals and today I'm going to share with you a STEM activity that you can do at home with supplies that you probably have at home. So today's STEM challenge, and remember STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And today's challenge is making music. Create an instrument that you can play. So this one's really fun because there are about six suggested materials, but you can get really, really creative with whatever you have at home. And you aren't, it doesn't just have one instrument in mind. It has a handful of different instruments that you can, that you can make with these supplies. So what this activity suggests for you to use are rubber bands of all different sizes, um, some giant craft sticks, some cardstock or maybe copy paper or construction paper, a metal coffee can, um, or you could even use, I want to say like one of those uh, like Clorox wipe tubs, you could use one of those as well, a shoe box, a paper plate, and some dried beans. So those are your supplies, so you might want to go grab them now. And if you're ready to join us again, um, think about what kind of instruments you can make with your supplies. Um, I do have a hint for you. So with the shoe box, um, you can cut out a circle in maybe the lid of your shoe box. So the hint that this activity gives you is to mix and match materials to create different sounds. So this could be like a nice shaker if you take your shoebox and you cut a hole and you add some rubber bands, it could be a guitar. Um, there's a few different things you can make, but those are just a few starter ideas. So you might ask, well, what's going on? Like, how is this science? Isn't this just a craft activity? Here's where the science comes in. Sound is caused by vibrations or invisible waves moving through the air. Sound is created when vibrations cause tiny particles or molecules to bump into each other. The particles keep bumping into each other like a line of falling dominoes until they reach a receiver like your ear where they are heard as sound. Also, sound can only move through matter like air or water. So there is no sound in space because there is no air for it to move through. Um, and it's a lot harder for sound to move through solid objects. So go ahead and make some instruments at home using your supplies. Like I said, you can even use, think outside the box, think about different supplies that you have at home. If you don't have dried beans, maybe use some dried rice instead or some dried like bow tie noodles or something. Um, there are five extension activities with this specific one. Um, the first one is your extended science activity. Does playing the instrument harder, softer, or longer make a different sound? Probably, but make a guess and try it out on your different instruments and make a graph. Technology. Add another material to your instrument. Does it make it sound better or worse and why? And things like better or worse can be subjective, right? Engineering, design another instrument that uses vibrations to make sound. So make multiple instruments. Don't just stop at one. See how many different instruments you can make. A is for art. Decorate your instrument. Can you make it look nicer without changing the sound? So this is where your markers might come in handy, your stickers, your crayons. If you have different colored construction paper, you can cover can glue it onto your shoe box or onto your coffee can. I'm sure you can make it look better than what I have here. And last but not least, math. Does the size or shape of the materials affect the sound and how? For example, if you have two different sized um, shoe boxes, try and make a guitar with both of them and do they sound different? Or use different sized rubber bands and do the same thing. So that is today's STEM activity. Feel free, remember, to use whatever supplies you have at home. 
and share with us what you created and what you learned. Thanks everyone. Bye.